So today we've got, uh, I've shown you milkweed before, but we're going to take it right, right now it's just about to blossom. So it's got the little flowers coming out. The leaves we are not going to use. Those are getting too, too much kind of a bitter flavor with those. Some of these younger leaves, yeah, I'll use those. And we've got our thistle plants. I left a little bit on this one so you can see. Yep, thistle. We've got some mustard greens here. Mm -hmm. And watercress. I'm going to make a nice, uh, I think I'll do stir fry uh, out of all of these. And st I was going to make a soup, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do a stir fry. And I've got my lovely wife here with us. Can you wave? Yeah, I can't hardly even see you. You're too far away. But uh, well, she found some shade. So she's going to hang out in the shade. Be proud of me. I tied my hair. Oh, it came out. Oh. My hair looks like Yeah, it looks like onion. I don't think it is. All right, so we're gonna get the pot. Well, the we're gonna get the walk going this time. Looks like got a little bit of dust in there. Ooh, it's already hot from the sun. Better get that going. Got a little flower in there. Get everything going. I'll get set up and I'm try stir fry this time. All right, first get the thistle ready. Oh, a little mustard there. Don't need those flower heads. Although, I don't know, maybe because they haven't blossomed yet. Oh, it looks like they've got some aphids attacking them. I don't know. We, I might try that. Oh, those spikes are a little... Sometimes with the young spikes, it's not so bad, but with those older spikes, they tend to hurt. I've got a flower there, though. I'll keep that. Get rid of these tougher spikes. There's a flower. Hasn't opened yet. That should be alright. And then we're just gonna raise these up. Let's see. That, those two are okay. This one's a little bit woody. I'm not gonna use that one. So we'll use that. Watercress is amazing. Like you can just eat that raw. I probably like it better raw. Oh no. I like it both. Put that in there. Now these guys are a little bit different. We're not gonna use these big leaves. Those aren't gonna be good. But the flower heads, yes, those flower heads. We're just gonna eat them just like that and this one's even got a few of those younger leaves on it which is fine those will be good and those are a little too old so we won't do those they just get a little tough get these flower heads these are uh, a little too tough this one this leaf that's okay those little leaves those are okay yeah those are all good now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, it's got that milky sap. And it does. There's that milky sap. And, and people will say, oh, but if it's got that white milky sap, it's poison. Uh, that's not true. See? I just licked it. And I'm still alive. Uh, of course, poison would really probably take a while to really take effect. But I will still be alive in a while. 
So we're going to put those flower heads in there. Those are just about to open. And these are really good, even raw. They're sweet. I like those a lot. There's more white sap. That's okay. All right, and this, that's just gone a little too far. We'll just burn that. Because we're just gonna simmer this to get those vegetables to soften up a little bit. I've got a couple squirrel bones. Looks like something came and ate the rest of it. I left a little bit on there to dry out. I was gonna use it, but it looks like something ate it. But I'll put that in there. That's okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'd like to crush those up first. Get a little rock here. Not ideal. But the bones are terrific as far as a, a, a nutrient. They've got lots and lots of nutrition still left in the bones. So I want to get those all mashed up good. Some marrow in there, there's calcium, there's salts in there. All of those things are really, really important. Line that up. I think there's a limerick or like a fairy tale or something. I'll grind your bones. Isn't that right, Stace? Isn't there like a fairy tale? A giant will grind your bones. Maybe it's Jack and the Beanstalk. Huh? But anyway, we'll grind up those bones that in there. That's just good flavor. And get this cooking at a little warmer. So I'm just gonna get that stoked up a little bit. Get those simmering. Alright. Now let's oh that looks good. You wanna look at this taste? It looks like they're softening up really well. All the little flower heads are soft. It's perfect. Now, I just need to... I'm going to cook off that water. There. Soak it up just a little bit. My chopsticks are starting to... Oh. I've used these chopsticks a long time though, since the beginning. Oh, I've got little, like little mouse bites on it. A mouse has been eating my chopstick in. I don't blame him. I make good food up here. So the flowers, flowers are looking great. Oh, look, there's the thistle flower. I hope that softens up, because, dang, that's not going to be very fun to eat that if those needles haven't so softened up a little bit. Yeah, I put my hat on the phone because it was overheating. It is a little warm today. That water is... Pretty well cooked off. Now we're gonna add. Oh yeah. Add a little oil. Add salt. Because on survival, you eat everything with salt. Salt has to be in everything because you're losing it like crazy. Salt. Now let's stir fry. I'm going to leave the lid off uh, so that we evaporate that water faster. I don't want there to be any water in here. I just want it to be oil. Okay, that's ready. Let's have a look at it. 
That looks all right. A uh, little stir fry, vegetable stir fry. Let's give it a try. All right. Want to try one of the flowers first? Mm. Got a flour and some mustard. That's a little strong. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try some of the watercress. Mm. That's good anytime. Looks like mustard grains, maybe some watercress. I'm going to try to separate them out so I know which flavor is which. So this is the mustard, right? Watercress. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see. I had one of those little flowers. Those thistle flowers. I wanted to try that. That plate is hot. Mm. It's been baking in the sun. I guess it's keeping food warm. Although I don't know why we'd want to. It is hot today. Mm. Watercress? Mm hmm. I think so. Where's the mustard? Mm. It kind of. Yeah, mustard's going to be hard to tell. Maybe that? I think that's mustard right there. Mm. That's my favorite. The mustard. The flowers are good. I mean, they have kind of a strong after. Yeah, after I didn't flavor. love the aftertaste. I like the watercress, though. Just the mustard. Mustards are always good. So good. Mm, Thank that's you. watercress. Oh, is it? But try that. See what you think. Yeah. Water I just press. like the mustard better. We'll have to load up on on that next time. Mm -hmm. But for a survival meal. Oh yeah. That's totally. not bad. Yeah. I like the watercress. It still has some of that turnipy flavor, that radishy mm -hmm, flavor. Mm -hmm. But not like it did when it was raw. And then when you think about like the nutrient value of what's here, I'll bet you this is more nutrition than most people get in, in a week, in just this one meal, hmm. I'll bet. There's, Possibly. Uh, that's the uh, thistle. Oh. That's still a little bit woody. Hmm. A little tough. Hmm. But not a strong flavor of any mm -hmm. sort. It looked pretty good. I don't know what happened to my thistle flower. So this is not one? No. I had like eight thistle flower that I, mm. I set right here, I guess. It, I don't know what happened Because I ate to one it. of those. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I wanted to try that. I wasn't sure. I, I'm sure it would taste good, but I wasn't sure um, if the needles would tender tenderize, you know, in the cooking process or not. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that's so good. The leaves, I think, are really good. Because they got really tender. And when you deep fry them, they firm up a little bit. Yeah, for a survival meal, I would call that really good. True.
are just stuff that we found along the way that we just found while we were walking. What's that? That's one of the flowers. Oh, so it just came off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess you didn't like those very much. I didn't. Yeah. I think that's good. I think it would have been better with some groundhog. <laughs> Definitely. You think? Would you have eaten it? Oh, yes. Really? Yes. I've tried everything you've made except one thing. I can't remember what it was. I'm convinced that groundhog are so smart and so good at hiding themselves because they know that they're delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that they know that they're great. Well, anyway, that was a good meal. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see you on the next one.